I'm Peter Miller. I was uh, in the World Trade Center on 9-11 on the 65th floor and evacuated. Uh, coincidentally, or not coincidentally, I was also on the 65th floor on February 26, 1993. So I uh, went through an evacuation twice. The differences were v very different and, and, and in other ways it was deja vu. I was on the north side of, of the first tower to be hit and heard the plane coming. The sound just it was clearly too low and too close but I never thought it would hit. I thought it would be a military flyby or something and as I was getting up from my computer and turning around to see it, it came into the building and smashed uh, the whole structure. The building sh uh, shook violently and uh, then the building snapped back to level and stopped vibrating and I realized we'd survived and um, uh, a woman in the office next to me said, well, what should we do? And I said, well, it's get to the stairwells and get out of here immediately. And um, that turned out to be the right thing to do. It was surprisingly uh, easy because there were so many people and it was so clear to most of us that we had to evacuate down the stairwells. There was no other choice. So. Um, Instead of panic, it was everyone sticking together. Um, anyone who got upset, there'd be three people talking to them to calm them down. We organized a survivors group about a year later, and, and it really was helpful. Um, I didn't think it was necessary for, for therapeutic reasons, but in retrospect, it certainly was probably the most significant thing that the group did for evacuees and people who were just in the area uh, who could have been killed by falling plane parts or, or debris. I, I guess I learned that um, you have to give yourself room after an event like that. After 93 bombing, we all just, and the wisdom in general of the therapy profession, I think, was to basically get past it and back to normal. Now, there's no comparison. I mean, there were six casualties versus 3,000. And um, after 9-11, that was not an option. I had never been a, uh, very open to, to therapy and never been much of a joiner in terms of Boy Scouts or groups. And uh, after 9-11, I think I learned the importance of connecting with people in all different kinds of ways. And uh, I've learned that you, you can uh, train yourself to be more resilient and get past things. You're never going to be the same. It's always going to be uh, a hollow spot in your, in your life that you'll never get back. But you can be resilient by getting past it. I guess other people should live their lives fully and, and uh, reach out. Don't, uh, don't look inward. Uh, as, as a teacher once told me, what you see outside is going to be much more interesting than what's in your head. And I think that's one of the most important things people can do. and Try and inform themselves, both spiritually and, and uh, intellectually. It's science, uh, you know, eat your vegetables and have dessert too. The, the veterans in Iraq, they're using meditation and, and transcendental meditation to, to help uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome. Uh, all kinds of resources that in 1993 and before, we're, we're sort of considered avant-garde, if not, uh, you know, just not acceptable.